Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today, we are going to make a Java project on courier management system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE and a Swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I am passing an object of courier class. It is a GUI form. So to create one, you need to go over here in the project package, click on new, click on swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. Uh, two files will be generated. Okay, you need to name it uh, accordingly. I have named it courier. And uh, this is the dot form file for the interface and the dot Java file for the code. Okay, let's move to the interface first. This is the interface. Uh, that the user sees to check how it appears right click over here and then click on preview Okay, this is how it looks so uh, this is the uh, JTEX fields This is a combo box and this is a JTEX field I have added two buttons over here and this is also a J label This is a J label. These are the J labels and I have given the name of the panel as uh, this you can uh, name anything you look want Okay, I'll name it courier panel. Okay. Uh, and this is the J, uh, J table. And do not forget to add the J table under the J scroll pane. Okay, let's move to the code. Here's my code. Okay. Uh, so this is the class and these fields will get automatically added once you design the panel. I have created an object of JFrame class and uh, this is a JDate chooser. Uh, so to get this, you need to uh, go over here in the project structure, then add the jar file, this J calendar jar file. And uh, to connect it to the uh, database, you need to add this MySQL connector. Okay. Once adding uh, this, uh, click on apply and then click on OK. Okay this will be available jdate chooser so uh, create an object of jdate chooser and i have given the name date chooser okay uh, so over here in the uh, estimated delivery which is my date i have uh, provided a border layout uh, the panel with the border layout okay and named it as date panel so in our constructor this is my constructor i am adding this date panel dot uh, add okay date panel this is my panel i am adding this date chooser in it uh, this is the intellij id so you need to do it this way but in other ids you can just add the uh, palette add the j calendar to this palette and then you can easily drag and drop okay so and the these are the lines that you will require uh, so whenever you create the object of courier class this form will appear okay so this is for exiting the application okay so whenever you uh, click on this cross arrow which appears on this panel the application exits okay and uh, set location relative is set to null so the panel appears at the center of the screen and uh, set visible is set to true so that it's visible okay and uh, you need to provide your panel name this is my panel okay it's of type j panel this set contain pane uh, gets uh, the parameter of j panel type okay so i am passing my panel over here okay this is the table data which i have created um, there's it's a method which extracts the data from the database and uh, uh, gets uh, it over here in this J table. Okay, this is the listener. You can add from here. Okay, right click over here, then click on create listener. Your listener will be created. Then provide the functionality what you want with your button. Okay, so what I have done over here is uh, I have checked that if my data fields, these data fields are null or not, if they are null then pop up the message uh, please fill all fields to add record else what i am doing here is uh, inserting this query Th this is a string type okay i am running this query 
uh, I am using uh, prepare statement so uh, this syntax is required okay so build the connection first and then pass the query to this uh, this method prepare statement okay and then for if your database consists of the column which is of type string so you need to uh, call this method set string and if if it is of type integer then you you need to call it set int okay uh, so my all the fields are strings so i am using this so at the first column my name is stored in the database so accordingly you need to add this uh, my column name would be sender name so i am adding this text from the text field and the second column is shipping address okay i am extracting the data from the text field and this is my date i am formatting it uh, in the same way the user chooses okay so you need to call this method get date instance and then format it and this is my uh, date chooser and i am extracting the date okay so similarly uh, uh, add this to uh, every item over here every text fields and then uh, execute this method execute update and then i am popping the message to the user details added successfully and after the detail and after it uh, the user clicks on ok this line runs which is i am setting all the text fields to null okay so i am catching error if there is any and popping the message accordingly okay and uh, since i have added something so i need to update it in the ui so i am calling this table data again and this is the total i am setting the total to this uh, method count which i have created total is the j label over here this okay now let's move to the update button right click over here then go to create listener okay this will be created and then provide your functionality over here i am running this query update query okay so i am updating all the text fields i am updating the data okay and build the connection then run this query uh, from this prepared statement method and update it and then pop up the message updated successfully i am catching the error if there is any and printing it in the console you can do it in the uh, pop up also like over here i have done it okay and then uh, again after updating i am calling this table data method this is my table listener so you can create one by going over here in the uh, table and then right click over here then click on uh, create listener and then mouse listener okay this will be added you uh, what you require is the particular row and uh, the column where the data is stored and then pop uh, extract the data and then populate it over here in the text fields okay so first i am uh, calling this method table dot get model and uh, saving it in this variable dm of type default table model and uh, getting the row uh, by this table dot get selected row okay so this uh, method is called of uh, get value add okay from this variable get value add it requires two parameters the row and the column okay so row whichever you have selected you will get it from this variable and uh, the zero it which is our name so it will extract the name from the selected row and convert it into string and then set the value of name data dot set of name data which is my text field and set it to whatever is in there okay in the table similarly i am doing it for address and cost okay this is my table data method i am extracting all the data which is stored in the table which is courier and uh, I am running this query and uh, storing the data and the results set okay and then finally then calling this method set model and I am using this method which I have created on my own but it is similar to dbutils 
dot result set to table model okay then pass your result set to that and uh, it will run in the same way then catch the error if there is any okay this is it uh, let's just run it okay here I have added one entry so let's add another entry uh, senders name the address electronic item the status okay uh, let's select this and the cost is let's say 500 okay and then add record okay it gets added and the total is counted okay I haven't shown you the count uh, method okay it must be over here this is the count method what I am doing over here is uh, setting an integer of uh, this total uh, to zero first and then what I am uh, doing is uh, building the connection and running this query select cost from courier okay uh, this I am selecting all the cost so it will uh, the query result uh, will be only a single column okay and uh, what I am doing here is extracting the integer part and providing the column index which is only one because I am selecting just the cost and then adding all the integer values okay to to this total and then returning this total value okay as in integer form okay let's uh, check this okay so 100 will be added to total which is 0 and then 500 okay so 600 is my output uh, we can also update it so let's update it let's say it's 4000 sorry 400 okay uh, I have only added the update uh, functionality to this I guess so let's choose this package delivered okay and update it okay see uh, it gets changes to this okay it's working I hope you understand the working of the code thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas